hope you're well and welcome back to my channel for any of you guys that are new here my name is ellis i am a mummy to two boys and i film videos on everything from motherhood and lifestyle to cleaning routines hacks gar holes and so much more today i'm going to be telling you all my top 10 zoflora hacks and how i use the flora around the home so flora seems to have become some massive thing recently and i have been using zoflora for years now um, I remember my friend telling me about Zoflora when I had a very, very smelly rug about three or four years ago now. And um, oh, it was amazing. It worked a treat. It was divine. And I've been using it around the home in lots of different ways ever since. So I thought I'd let you all in to how I actually use it around my home and ways that you can use it too. So tip number one is quite a common one that I'm sure a lot of you have heard, but it is an absolute must have to make your house smelling nice and clean. So tip number one is to quite simply make a sink full of Zoflora and do that before you go to bed and you will literally have an amazing smelling house when you wake up in the morning. The smell that the steam and the hot water lets off with those Zoflora combined makes your house smell absolutely absolutely divine you'll walk down into your kitchen and it'll smell amazing and um, if not another time that i like to do this is when i'm running out to the shops or if i'm going to nursery or god i don't know whenever i'm popping up and then coming back sort of thing and i just want to come home to my house smelling absolutely amazing that's what i'll do i'll just chuck it in not only that but it's a really good disinfectant of the sink as well so wherever you leave it obviously it will be a disinfectant and it will clean it so tip number two is to put zooflora down your toilet before you go to bed now a bit like we would put bleach down them or i bleach my toilets every evening i kind of chuck a little bit of bleach down them let it sit in the toilet bowl every night you can also add zooflora to this like i mentioned it's a disinfectant but again once it's been down your toilet Toilet, it will literally make all the water in your toilet smell absolutely amazing for starters and then obviously like I said it acts as a disinfectant so again it's that two birds one stone cleaning and making the bathroom smell absolutely amazing so another tip that I have for you for tip number three is you can quite literally clean your light bulbs and anything else that might be hot, such as your radiators, with Zoflora. So what I mean by this is if you quite simply put a bit of Zoflora on a cotton pad or a bit of cotton wool or something like that, and rub it against your radiators when they're off, or your light bulbs when they're off, when you then turn them on, the heat element of the radiators or the light bulb, whatever it may be, heats up the kind of smell as such on the area that you've cleaned, and it lets out a really, really nice smell fragrance in your rooms. So if you put it on the radiators and light bulbs in all the rooms, all the rooms will smell really, really nicely as the heating comes on, which in the summer we have all the lights on and all the radiators on at all times. So it is, again, another way to make your house smell absolutely amazing. Tip number four would be to add some Zoflora to your towel wash. Now I'm kind of a bit iffy when it comes to adding other products into my washing just because I've got really, really sensitive skin as of my sons. So for me to kind of start chucking too much stuff into all of our different washes would be a bit of a pain and it could cause some problems with skin irritation and allergies and things like that. However, what I like to do is, again, in the laundry detergent part where I would add in my fabric softener, I like to add in some Zoflora. A capful of Zoflora, again, go in the towel wash. Again, it will make your towels smell absolutely amazing. They will come out. And then I like to hang my towels around the house. Um, obviously not where everyone can see them, but if I leave them over the banisters, for example, um, it literally leaves my whole house smelling amazing because you can smell my towels from downstairs. No one can see them because they're hidden upstairs. And then again, it fragrances all of my upstairs and downstairs, making my house smell absolutely amazing. And no one knows where the smell's coming from. Now for tip number five, it's quite an obvious one, but it is to mop your floors with Zoflora. Now I use an Adis, I think it's called, Adis, Adis, one of the squirty mops that I think you can pick up in B&M and wherever else. I got mine off Amazon, but quite literally, again, I use this instead of using, say, a Dettol floor detergent, and I quite literally add a capful again into the little bottle. I mix it with some water, and then I use that as a spray on my floor. Once again, it's a disinfectant. It smells amazing, and when I mop my floors with it, it makes them smell absolutely amazing i can't explain it is so amazing um one of my favorite scents by the way is fresh linen that smells amazing i absolutely love it and i wouldn't be without it so definitely pick that one up if you haven't tried it before moving on from this another really really simple tip is to quite literally spray your sides with it once again we all have cleaning products and we use them to clean our sides but this is a disinfectant so if you literally again go and get a little spray bottle you can pick them up in the pound shop or poundland or uh, b&m or somewhere like that if you quite literally again Again, add some into a bottle mix it with some water you can then use it as an everyday use spray which you can clean your sides with and you know you're disinfecting them and once again making your kitchen your bathroom wherever it may be smell really really good 
My next tip is one you've probably never heard of before, but it is a completely and utterly random tip. Some of you may not do it, but I like to actually empty my bins on a daily basis. I don't have one big bin bag, although this would work for that if you did have a bigger bin, um, but I actually have smaller bin bags as well, so I like to use this tip, and I empty my bags on a couple of times a day. Um, so I quite literally soak a bit of kitchen roll in Zoflora and then pop it in the bottom of my bin bag. What this does is, once again, it's a disinfectant, but it actually allows the rubbish to smell amazing, which sounds really, really stupid. But when you've then got to pop your rubbish into a bigger bin outside, it then allows it to stay fresh and clean, meaning your big bin then doesn't smell. And I hate the smell of rubbish. I don't like rubbish. I test it, but obviously it's a thing we all have. And so this is just the way to make your big bin smell nice, or even your little bins smell nice depending on where you store them and how your rubbish is it just makes your rubbish smell really really good back to the nighttime routine another thing that i do is pour zoflora down my sinks of an evening down the plug curls and again i let it sit there all night i know my sinks aren't going to be used and once again when the taps are run in the morning with hot or cold water the fragrance that she comes up through the drain and makes my sink and my bathrooms once again smell really really nice and obviously this kind of goes on throughout the day so depending on how many times my sinks have been used when people are then going into my bathrooms to use the tap after they've been to the toilet um it just makes the bathroom smell really really nice again and another really great quick tip that I have for you all when it comes to using Zoflora around your house is if you use Zoflora once again diluted down with some water, if you soak some kitchen paper or your cloth, whatever it may be, in this liquid that you've just produced with the Zoflora and some water and you go over all of your skirting boards with it, again it's another great way to clean your house and once again make another area of your home smell lovely. Plus they'll be nice and clean and really really disinfected to make your house as clean as possible. Another tip that I have for you all is cotton wool in your hoover. This sounds again a really, really random tip, but again, if you soak a bit of cotton wool in your hoover and pop it into the dust bag or wherever it may be, so depending on what sort of style you've got, if you pop it into the bit that kind of collects all your hoover type mess, so all of the dust that kind of you pick up off the floor as you're hoovering, if you pop it into there, as it's kind of spinning, spinning around and doing its job of hoovering, it will actually let out a really, really nice fragrance through your carpet and it will actually make your floor smell really, really nice, all your rooms as you're hoovering. So another hack that I absolutely love when it comes to Zoflora is to actually use this in my reed diffuser. Now what I mean by this is you simply take any reed diffuser that may be empty or may be running low, you obviously take out the reed sticks and you simply pour in part Zoflora to part water. Now I normally put in more Zoflora than just a capful, as you can probably see here, I'm going to pour in a capful and then I decide that actually that just isn't enough for the scent that I want to achieve, but you simply pop that in with some water and your house will literally smell amazing. It will literally scent the whole house with whatever fragrance you've chosen, meaning you can change it up for a winter spice or something warm and something fresh in the summer. You can literally make it however you want. And as you can see, I'm using a really, really nice reed diffuser pot. So obviously this one will look really, really pretty on my table still. I can top it up whenever I want and it will make my house smell amazing. I absolutely love it. This again is another way to get this smell kind of running through your house and if you use it in all these different places you're literally going to have your house smelling amazing if you're using it down your sinks, your plug holes, your toilets, your bins, your light bulbs and your radiators and um, quite literally every area of your home will smell amazing and when people come in it will just be such a welcoming fragrance for them and obviously when you're in it yourself it will just smell amazing. And my last and final tip for you all is going back to the whole making a bowl of water and popping it in the sink. My last and final tip is when you make that bowl of water, quite literally add all your dishcloths in with it. Obviously, I usually wash my microfiber cloths and things like that. But if you chuck them in every single night with your bowl of water that's going to make your room smell amazing, you're doing two birds with one stone as you're actually popping your cloths in as well. It's a disinfectant, like I mentioned. So you're actually cleaning all of your cloths, cleaning them all up and making them smell amazing for the next day's use. They're constantly regularly getting cleaned and you haven't got to worry about them being dirty or throwing them out as they're all nice and clean and ready to go for the next day and once again when you start cleaning with them they'll have that fresh smell to them well guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more cleaning and mummy videos coming soon and i'll see you all again for another video shortly bye guys